how to crochet the pine tree stitch. For this tutorial, you'll need a crochet hook and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Webs, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Northampton yarn from their Valley Yarns line in the color Light Green Heather. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, single crochet, double crochet. For this stitch, you'll need to make a foundation chain in multiples of 10 plus 4. Before we begin the stitch, we'll need to do a foundation row. We'll begin by doing a double crochet into the fourth chain from our hook. Then we'll begin our repeat by chaining four. Then we'll skip four chains and do a single crochet into the next one. One, two, three, four. And single crochet into the fifth one right here. Next we will chain four again. Skip the next four chains, one, two, three, and four right here, and we'll do three double crochets into the next chain, so right here. We'll repeat the sequence to the last chain in our row. After we skip the last four chains and we have come to our last chain in our row, we're going to do two double crochets into the last chain. And we can turn our work. Row one. We'll begin by chaining two. This will count as our first double crochet in the row. Then we'll skip the first double crochet, the one right here, and we'll do two double crochets into the next double crochet. Then we'll begin our repeat by chaining three. and doing a single crochet into the next single crochet, which is this right here. Then we will chain three again. And we'll do two double crochets into the next double crochet. And we'll do one double crochet into the next one. And two double crochets into the next of the three that were in our last row here. We're gonna repeat this sequence to the last repeat in our row.
So we come to our last repeat. We will chain three and do a single crochet into the next single crochet. Then we will chain three again and do two double crochets into the next double crochet. And we'll complete our row by doing one double crochet into the top of our turn chain. So right here. Then we can turn our work. Row two. After we've turned our work, we'll chain two. Oops. Then we'll do a double crochet into the next double crochet. Then in the next double crochet, we'll do two double crochets. This one right here, we're going to do two double crochets into this stitch right here. Then we'll begin our repeat by chaining two. And doing a double crochet into our next single crochet. And we'll chain two once again. And do two double crochets into our next double crochet. And then we'll do one double crochet into each of the next three double crochets. And after we've done our three double crochets into our three double crochets, in the last one we're going to do two more. And we'll repeat this sequence all the way across to the last repeat in our row. When we come to our last repeat. When we come to our last repeat, we'll do as we began our repeat by chaining two, doing a double crochet into the next single crochet, then we'll chain two, do two double crochets into the next double crochet, We'll do one double crochet into the next, and we'll end up our row by doing a double crochet into the top of our turn chain. And we can turn our work. Row three. We'll begin by chaining two. We'll skip the first double crochet in our row and then do a double crochet into each of the next two double crochets. Then in the next double crochet, we'll do two double crochets. Then we can begin our repeat by chaining one, doing two double crochets into our next double crochet.
we're going to do a double crochet into the each of the next five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, and five. Then the next double crochet will do two double crochets. We'll repeat this sequence all the way till we get to our last repeat in our row. When we come to our last repeat, we'll chain one and do two double crochets into our next double crochet. Then we'll do a double crochet into each of the next two double crochets. And we'll finish up our row with a double crochet into the top of a of our turn chain. So right here. And then we can turn our work. Row four. We'll begin by chaining one. Then we're going to do a single crochet into the first double crochet right here. Right below our chain. Then we're going to begin our repeat by chaining four. We're going to skip the next four double crochets, one, two, three, and four. And in this space right here, we're going to do three double crochets. Two, three, Then we're going to chain four once more. Skip the next four double crochets, two, three, four, and do a single crochet into the next one. And we'll repeat this sequence all the way to the last double crochet in our row. So skip those four three double crochets here. And then chain four. So we'll skip those last four double crochets and do a single crochet into the top of our turn chain just here. Like so. Then we can turn our work. Row five. We'll begin by chaining one. Then doing a single crochet into the first single crochet in our row. So just below our chain right there. Then we'll begin our repeat by chaining three. And we're going to do two double crochets into the next double crochet. Then we'll chain three. Oops. No, we won't double, we won't chain three. After our double crochet, we'll do one double crochet in the next. So we got three double crochets here. We'll do two in the first, one in the second, and two in this one here. Like so. Then we'll continue by chaining three. Oops. 
one, two, and three. Let's not split our yarn to pieces here. Then we'll do a single crochet into the next single crochet. So right there. And we'll repeat this sequence to the last repeat in our row. So we'll chain three. Do this for you again. Two double crochets in here. One double crochet in the next. And two in the following. And we'll chain three again. And we'll finish up our row by doing our single crochet in the top of our turn chain right here. And then we can turn our work. Row six. We'll begin by chaining five. This counts as a double crochet and a chain two. One, two, three, four, and five. Then we'll begin our repeat by doing two double crochets into the next double crochet, which is this one right here. We'll do one double crochet into each of the next three double crochets. One, two, three right there. And then in this one here, we'll do two double crochets. Then we'll chain two, do one double crochet into our next single crochet, chain two again, and then that'll end our repeat. So we'll repeat this all the way across to the last repeat in our row. Let me go ahead and finish it up for you. So we have our chain two. Then we'll do two double crochets into our next double crochet. And one double crochet into each of the next three. Double crochets. Two double crochets into this one here. Do our chain two to finish up our repeat, and we'll finish up our row by doing a double crochet into the last single crochet. So right there. And then we can turn our work. Row seven. We'll begin by chaining three. Then we'll begin our repeat by doing two double crochets into the next double crochet. We'll do one double crochet into each of the next five double crochets. Four. And five. 
and we'll do two double crochets into the next double crochet. And then we'll chain one. And we'll repeat the sequence all the way across to the last repeat in our row. So two double crochets and then the next double crochet. One into each of the next five. We'll do two double crochets into this one right here. Then instead of ending with a chain one, we're going to do a double crochet into the last single crochet. I'm sorry, one double crochet into the third chain of our five chain turn chain right here. So one, two, three. like so. Then we can turn our work. Row 8. We'll begin by chaining 2. Do a double crochet into the first double crochet right below our chains right there. Then we'll begin our repeat by chaining 4. We'll skip the next four double crochets, one, two, three, four. And we'll do a single crochet into the fifth, into the next one. So one, two, three, four, and single crochet right here. Then we'll chain four and skip four again. Three and four, skipping the next four, one, two, three, four. And then we'll do three double crochets in the next one chain space. We'll repeat this sequence all the way across until we get to the last repeat in our row. I'll finish it out for you. We'll do our chain four, four, skip four, one, two, three, four single crochet into here chain four again Three double crochets. And instead of three double crochets in this space here, we're going to do two double crochets in the top of our turn chain. One and two. And then we can turn our work. So we're going to repeat rows 1 through 8 until we've reached our desired length. And that's how you crochet the Pine Trees Stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more news today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newsitchaday.com slash VIP.